All right, we are working at making our refined sketch. And I showed you, I'm pretty happy with my refined sketch. I think that's the way I'm going to go. And then I can clean it up more and play with it as a vector. But these were all my own lines, you know, built on top of my sketch, just using kind of a thick brush within Photoshop. But you can also do it by hand. So if I show you all these, and I did in different layers so I could try it out. You know, but that turns into this. But I could also use my skill in compositing. Especially if I'm doing kind of a straightforward mashup like this is. Whoops, not that one. Get rid of this one. So what I can do is take that Navy's, Navy logo, right? And then I can take the Nico head, and then how could I mash these up really clearly? Well, I can get rid of the negative, the white space around the Nico head. And then I could use image adjustments, direct image adjustments, to turn it all black. Right. So now I have that black silhouette. I could punch a hole out of it in the same way because I like that kind of perfectly circular eye. So now I've got that component. Right? And then for the, the navy symbol, I could do the same thing. But let's bring in a better quality. There we go. Then my screen grab. So this is just the one I, I downloaded from the internet, right? And when you see that TM, the registered trademark, it means no one can steal it for a different purpose, right? Like it's registered as the U.S. Navy, but I can modify it, but I have to, again, kind of make it my own. And so instead of just taking it exactly as is, let's use our compositing skill. I'm going to get rid of the head to do more than just decapitate the Navy logo. I want to play with its proportions. You know, I want to hold down shift while I stretch it or distort it because I don't really love all the horizontality. So if I distort it, Let's see. Actually, let's do this. Let's do perspective, which will do it equally on both sides. Right? And then maybe stretch this down Oops. with scale. Hold down shift. And then always think of what your personal connection is, your concept. So if I'm doing Nighthawk, Nighthawks don't have tails like that. You know, if I research the Nighthawks, which fly up above our campus. Is that why that's your mascot? Yeah, we have them all over the place. When you hear the little hee, 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 everywhere, those are little hawks. They're really small, but they fly like amazing. They eat. And that's why uh, the military uses it for aircraft, too, like the stealth fighter. But they have longer tails, kind of split tails, right? They also have a stripe on them if you want to make use of that. So that's what the common Nighthawk looks like. Let me get back to it. So instead of the golden or the, the bald eagle's tail, which doesn't work at all for this, I can use compositing to make my refined sketch first by Cutting out this separation. Oh, don't want the oval. So I'm using the rectangular marquee. And deleting. And then I'm just going to take this one out. Actually, no, I'll leave that one in. I'm going to take these side ones out. I'm going to 
take these and move them in. And remember to play with central symmetrical. You can always just flip and reverse. So to try instead of trying to move this one to match exactly, I can just delete it. And I can find the center point of this and then delete it. All right. And now I'm going to take that whole shape, put it on its to its own layer. Which I can do with Command X and Command V. You know, cut and copy. Find that center line and then just transform this into something that looks more like a Nighthawk's tail. Maybe like that. And now I can duplicate it Command J, Command T, flip it horizontally. Hold down shift while I move it to the side and then kind of lock it in place. All right, so this becomes my refined sketch. Now that's using kind of existing clip art, but then still modifying it, right? Oh, but then I'd have to replace the anchor, replace the feet, you know, to make it my idea. But honestly, I kind of like the the chunky kind of folk art charm of that approach. So I think that's the one I'm going to go with. But you can refine your sketch either through sketching or through compositing or both. So I'll, I'll write that in and maybe I'll add that to the slides. So don't be afraid of your, your hand drawing, right? A, a refined, a hand sketched, refined sketch can often reveal more personality, which as being someone who's been on the committee selecting logos, it's really nice not to just see the same generic approaches all the time versus composited. And if I'm going to do composited, I'm going to do it with type. Because <laughs> even though it spaces everything for us, it can look very generic. And we're going to have to be building this with our own vectors anyway. So I say lean towards the personality. I'm going to save that as a PNG with the background turned off. And I'm going to put that into the slides. So these are my refined sketches. And they go into my assignment four. Or to the desktop, and then I can always navigate them, which is what I recommend. Okay, so... In my sketches here, we're thinking this, not this, and then we're posting our refined sketch. And we just post one sketch. I don't want to keep that, but I want to move it down. Hello.
Let's see. Let's change that. So I'm going to show you. Here it is. Where is it? There it is. Duplicate it. So if you really don't like where your drawing ability puts you in terms of visualizing what your black shapes will be, then by all means, use your compositing skills. Use your vector shape tools within Photoshop skills to make it something that gets you more confident. But also don't be uh, afraid of your drawing quality. That can make your, your work stand out, especially because we are prioritizing personality here. So let me go ahead and post that. And I'm just going to post the one. This is the one I like. I don't even need to put the sketched in there. This is what I'm going to use to start building my vector. And basically, you know you're done with your refined sketch, which we want to finish today, so you don't want to spin forever on it. You know you're done with your refined sketch if you tell yourself, yeah, I want this to be a really versatile, scalable image. You know, maybe I'm not ready to tattoo it on my body quite yet, but I really like the idea of having this uh, to use in a versatile way for small things, for large things, at any scale. So I'm going to go ahead and post it. I'm just going to make a new reply so you don't get confused by all of my inspiration stuff. So instructor example. My first re requirement. For assignment four is your refined sketch with clear black shapes. And then I'll post it. And move it into assignment four. All right. So now I'm going to move on to the next requirement. After you have your... Uh, 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 